dreaded attempt for a brown. Oh, gross. I'm hoping it just discolors to brown. Hi, guys, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Alicia with Caesar Soap Company. And on today's video, I'm going to be attempting to make a soap for Brambleberry Scent Relaxing. Now, this fragrance oil causes the soap to go brown. Now, as you guys know, I'm not a fan of brown soap. And I think I got lucky with my coffee soap <laughs> because it came out a nice, caramel tan color. Now this one, no. This one's gonna turn all the way brown. So I decided to use a either a brown oxide in this one. When I smell this, and everybody smells different, I think of a chai tea. I don't know, kind of makes me want to put a cinnamon stick in it. I know how some people feel about cinnamon and cold process soap. Don't worry, I'm not gonna add actual cinnamon. I'm just talking about for decoration, a cinnamon stick. In their fragrance oil description, they say it has French lavender, notes of pine, jasmine, vanilla, and delicate musk. Okay, so yeah, no cinnamon. I don't know what's wrong with my nose. With the French lavender, I'm like, okay, purple. Let's do purple. But wait, does purple go with brown? Uh. I just don't know. I tried looking up to see if purple goes with brown. I got a chai tea. Picture up here is gonna be my inspiration. And yeah, let's get to it. Let's see how this goes. Very rarely do you guys see me before I make soap. So I wanted to do just a little safety briefing, okay? When you make soap, you make it with lye. You cannot make soap without lye. So I put on long sleeves. I have a big hoodie on. Um, I have sweatpants instead of shorts on now. I like to wear a hairnet. So I wear this bonnet. And this bonnet I like. Ooh because it covers my ears too. Okay, I got my hair all tucked in. And this I got from Walmart, $4. I used to wear the little plastic gloves, but I was really consuming those. So I decided to go with these reusable gloves. And I have my safety glasses. Okay, we're going fly. You definitely gotta be protected. Let's go. It's open late, so we're not gonna waste any time. I'm gonna go ahead and pour in the lye water solution. And of course, have all my oils in here with my cow and clay. Four different colors I'm gonna have going on here. My main color, and get some lavender. I like pre mix it. Um, if you don't, like, me, I was just being hard headed. It just takes longer to work in. Got my titanium dioxide, and I did pre mix already, so that's gonna be a lot easier to work in. I did want a brown oxide for this because the fragrance oil I'm gonna be using unfortunately turns it brown, of course. So I compromised with this. I have no idea what this color is, but I'm hoping it's like a dark chocolate bronzy brown if that makes any sense i don't know guys i'm kind of color um uh, definitely not the color i was going for but i don't know it'll work thank goodness this is a test batch i did order some brown oxide from brambleberry just waiting on it to get in and with this one it's a dark purple i feel like these are true purples here does this one look more like a lavender purple? I don't know. I'm losing my mind here. I was lied to on these purples. Already, I don't know what it's doing. You guys, that is so weird. Have you ever seen? I've never seen fragrance oil do that. That's how you know it's going to turn it brown, I guess. I'm going to try my look at a hanger swirl. 
Nope, never done one before. Figured out, get my main color lined up in here. I mean, it's nice and thick. Or on this little purple, oops. Dreaded attempt for a brown. Oh, gross. Hoping it just discolors to brown. I'm just gonna scrape the rest of my purple out. Should have added some white. Yep, getting real sloppy with this. Do the rest of this dreaded color. I'm so sad that's not brown. Okay, this purple <laughs> turned gray on me. Now there's soapers out there like, oh my God, that's a hot mess. Well, you know what? Let's test it. It's okay. Got my hanger swirl here, which I got off of Amazon. So I'm gonna start off at the edge my way over and kind of doing like figure eight motions or trying to at least you know just kind of yeah i'm just gonna let this sit up so took a 15 minute break kind of gather my thoughts on this i don't know what's happening with this it's a bad soap night but we are going to do this anyway I'm just gonna add some mica drizzle. You know, I might save this some glitter. I should have started with the glitter. I got my cinnamon sticks. I gotta switch molds. That one's driving me a little crazy, but overall, I don't think it's too bad. We'll see what happens in the next 48 hours. Normally I wait 24, but I feel like my soaps are a little too soft. So I'm gonna wait just a couple more days until I unmold it. I guess we're gonna have to sit down for this one. Okay, sorry guys, I lost the cut <gasps> to the side video. My iPhone just... But this is the final cut was not expecting that. I mean, this is the first time that I had a fragrance oil really, really morph a color. I think I'm just gonna wait the four to six weeks. I'm gonna do a pH test balance on this. I'm definitely not gonna keep this color. I have a soap called Valberry and it is too close to the color, especially cause I'm gonna redo it when I get back from vacation and this is more of the color I was gonna have Valberry. So this, this is why we do tester batches. Not the color I was going for. So I have some things I definitely need to tweak. So I ordered a brown oxide from Brambleberry and hopefully that'll get here before I go on vacation. I really did get sloppy with this hanger swirl. It still came out pretty cool though. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.